For the first time, Japanese scientists have successfully used mouse skin cells to create egg cells and use them to create baby mice. Now, this essentially skips the traditional process of having to use an actual egg to reproduce. In theory, similar techniques could one day aid human reproduction. This is very interesting. Sarah Burr is a biotech reporter at TechCrunch and reported on this story today. Thank you so much for uh, joining us, Sarah. Uh, can you explain the process? How did the scientists at Kyushu University achieve this? Sure. So it's a little weird science, right? You have, um, they took my skin cells and through a, a process that's a little difficult to explain if you're not a scientist, uh, they basically created, in the lab, they created cells that um, were, could be used as egg cells. So they essentially created egg cells from the mouse skin cells and created baby mice. Got to be honest with you, this is very fascinating here. Uh, in your article, you write, theoretically, the technique could help older women who no longer produce eggs to have their own uh, biological offspring. It could even allow two men, two men, to make a baby without a donor egg. How important is this research in terms of human reproduction? I mean, so we're really far off it from everything I read. We're really far off from doing this in humans. Just, like, let's put that out there right now. But um, if... If other people do take up the research, which is they can't continue in Japan because you can't work on genetically modified uh, egg cells of humans at all. Um, but if someone else were to take up the research and figure out how to do this for humans, the ramifications are huge. I mean, you can think about uh, gay couples who want to make their own biological offspring or women who never had the chance to make a baby or uh, who don't, you know, their egg cells aren't viable. That's 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 giant in, in terms of making a human being that uh, you normally could not make. Yeah, talk about groundbreaking if it moves forward. Uh, you also note that Japan and the U.S. have strict laws against fertilizing engineered human cells. How long until we see this technique uh, being tested on humans? I mean, that's probably going to be up to whatever scientific team wants to take up this research and do something else. But um, so, I mean, who knows? That's, that could be far into the future before anyone even attempts this. All right, Sarah Burr, thanks for talking to us. i got to be honest with you, this is the coolest story so far this week. So thank you uh, for making time for us. Sure.